everybody guess what time it is it's technique Tuesday for scrapbooking with me boutique and I decided that I wanted to use some of the new embossing folders and a penny black die that I had got I want to say not this past haul because I actually haven't even showed that video yet but the, the, the last haul video I did so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the penny black first and this is what I suggest when you're using these type of dies where there are so many intricate pieces that are coming out. If you're using the wax paper method and you're going to run it through your die cutting machine, I went back and forth a couple of times, but this is what I would suggest. Depending on how hard your or the tension, the pressure of your machine, you might want to put a piece of paper or two on top just to give it a little extra tension as you roll it over only because this one that I just did, this which is the first one I did, it was really hard to get the pieces out even though I tried to do it a couple of times. Um, I wound up off camera going over and doing a whole new one um, just because I, I, it didn't work well the first time. Now keeping in line with that, with these embossing folders, these are for spellbinders and they do work with Cuddlebug, Big Shot, but you have to figure out your sandwich pattern. And what I was trying to do, because when it comes to embossing folders, you're supposed to use two B plates and the A plate, okay, when you're using the Cuddlebug. Well, I tried doing that and this folder is a little bit thicker than your regular embossing folder so it wasn't working so then I did the A plate B plate with um, stacks of paper to get to the tension that I needed it to be in and it actually it, it really did work out doing it that way you can see here up close that's the first one that I did um, I'm gonna do one more which is the pinwheel one and then I'll show that one to you as well and then once I get done with the pinwheel one I realized I didn't have to use B in a lot of papers I could just use the C plate which is thicker than your B plates when it comes to the cuddle bug and so the true I guess you would say sandwich um, with these um, these particular embossing folders is going to be the A plate, then the embossing folder, then the C plate on top, and that will give you great uh, dimension on your embossing. So right here, I think I just pulled it out. There it is. I'm trying to show you as best I can because it is white paper, but I'm going to add color to it um, so you can see it better once we, you know, run everything through. So right now I'm just taking out of the package the third and final embossing folder. And as I'm getting ready to lay it down, you can see here I just put the C plate right on top and I realized I didn't need any scraps of paper so we're just going to go ahead and run it through and with this one it really is one pass boom it's done so oh I wind up doing another florette only because the first one I did I wasn't sure because it looked like part of it didn't emboss correctly but I realized it's how the pattern is set up so I just did another one just in case All right, and then the final one, which is the fabric, to me it looks like water. Um, this one I do with the C plate again, and I'm just going to pull it out here, and you can see the detail. So, now I decided to take my Distress Inks. And I want to add color to this so you can see a lot of the definition. And if you use a light hand, uh, any of the raised bits will be darker. And then you'll still get color on your, some of your lower levels, but it will create a 
definition, you know what I mean? So that way you can really see the detailing and um, it just looks really pretty. I'm so glad I got these. Unfortunately, I don't think they're in the shop anymore, but OMG, if you see these, hopefully they'll come out with um, some more patterns, either before the end of the year or maybe even next year, because um, the, the 3D of them, the effect of these is pretty amazing. So for the next one, I decided to use Abandoned Coral, and I'm going to use that on the florette, or the pinwheel, I forget what they call it. But I really just wanted to add some color to it so that, like I said, you guys could see the definition. Um, using white paper, it did make it harder to see on camera. Um, but just by adding a little bit of color, I think you can see just how pretty these are. And if anything looks like it's not blended right or it's not dark enough or it's not light enough, whatever it is, what you do, what I find works is to keep going because eventually it's going to look the way that you want it to. Just don't give up on it. If it's not looking quite right, just keep going because by the time you're at the end, you're probably going to be like, oh, I'm glad I didn't stop. So Now... On the third one, I decided to use tea. I want to say tea dye. Because I wanted to keep this one more vintage-y. But I didn't want to go full vintage photo, which is a really, really, really dark brown in comparison to this one. So, um, that's why I decided to do the uh, tea dye. So it gives it a little bit of a color. But it really just makes it look like a distressed piece. Oh my goodness, excuse me, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to keep going. And there you go, close up of that. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them together in cards. I'm going to show them at the end just like... I normally do with all the final details added pieces and then this is that penny black dye that I did where I was able to get all the pieces out next time I would use stick it on the back so that way it would be easier to put down on a project so as we go through these are close-ups of each of the ones after I added a sentiment and on the red one I added sequins on the cream colored one I just try to keep it simple I have a thanks that's been foiled and then I just stamped many up above it and then the final one the blue one I added some clear droplets and just a little message that says a note to say so thank you guys for joining me make sure you hit the like subscribe and please share and I'll see you guys with the next video